Hi, I'm Steve with We Are Change Connecticut. I'm up here in Maine with Derek Slopey from the Maine Hacker Club. Derek, you were just flying that drone around and pretty impressed by it. Where, where'd you get it? Because I would like to get one. Yeah, we uh, that, that drone was built on the 3D printer. The frame was built on the 3D printer. The uh, the electronics are an are a open source project from uh, DIY Drones. You can find it at DIYDrones.com. Most of the... Uh, most of the uh, electronics on it were sourced from from various various companies. Uh, mostly bought at eBay, um, but there's a there's a lot of des there's a lot of uh, designs out there. Um, DIYdrones.com. You built the thing. You said you programmed it yourself. Uh, I we I configured it myself. You configure it for the frame, so you'd have to set parameters based on the frame size and stuff. And you can really fly it and do that. When I when I first flew it, flew it, it was pretty wobbly. And uh, the soft, the open source software uh, allows for configuration, so you can configure it to uh, to have different responsive responsivenesses and uh, like what? Uh, you you tune it. You put it into a tuning mode and and make sure that it that it's responding appropriately for the for the uh, for the frame size and. No, it's got different flying modes as well. It does have different flying modes. Yeah, it's. Uh, it can go into. It's an autopilot board, essentially. Uh, I was flying it in, sta in a stabilized mode. Uh, when it was flying over the pool, it was in. It was in a loiter mode, which means I've got my fingers off the controls, and it's just staying where it, where it is. Um, you had it hovering above the pool, and it was actually enough enough wind pressure to make the water move around. Pretty cool, yeah. yeah. So, uh, was it hard to make? Was it very expensive to put together? I think you could probably get it. I, I ended up spending way more money than I intended to or probably needed to because I didn't do the research ahead of time uh, so I have a lot of extra parts um, but you could probably get into something like that for three or four hundred bucks I, w I would say and I, it's only going to get cheaper I mean this is really the infancy of the technology I would say in you know, three or four years that people will be making these for a couple hundred bucks you know you, you normally strap the GoPro on that as well you want to talk about you know what an advantage that is uh, it's really neat to be able to take pictures um, I've got a uh, first-person flight board for it that allows me to transmit video back I'm actually not very good at flying at first person right now I need to get used to it but, so you but some glasses too yeah there's some yeah I have uh, a a uh, transmitter receiver and uh, some glasses you can watch, use to fly first person. I've seen some incredible video of people flying first person. I'm still getting used to it. But uh, You also said you had something hooked up in your Jeep too? Well I'm hoping that my, my, my plan is to be able to, to be able to have the have the drone in the Jeep when I get into a traffic jam I can just deploy it and see what's going on up ahead so I can decide whether to take the exit or not. I'm not sure if that will. <laughs> I'm, I'm working towards that goal anyway. So uh, you, you want to promote your work, uh, where people can form, find more about the Maine Hacker Club? Uh, the Maine Hacker Club is hackmaine.org, and uh, we've we're, uh, been working a lot with the Delta 3D printer there, which, which is what printed the frame for that. Um, to find out more about drones, I check out DIYdrones.com. I've got some video up there, although at the moment I don't remember my username. But uh, check out other people's work, too. Um, if you're interested in getting into that, certainly uh, DIY Drones is the place to go. It's a collaboration of people that have developed open source software and open source hardware to uh, enable people to have their own drones and drone right back at them. So do you believe that people have the right to have their own personal drones? Absolutely. If anybody has the right to have something, it's people, not, not government. Drones. They want them in the cities of America. So if they think that you are an enemy of America in some form or fashion or enemy of the community, they can use a drone in the cities of America. And that's what they're working towards. You know, overseas, they do it with impunity. I have a Let me see your permit. I want to see it. Okay. Let's walk over here. So we can see it. Because I want to see it. So you can let go of the permit. Okay. Let me see the permit. Come over here. Don't you have your own copy? No, no, no.